Hi, John here with Total Health Magazine and Total Health Television. I'm in, I was going to say sunny and beautiful San Diego, but... <laughs> it's not so sunny today. <laughs> this is like the third day of cloud cover for the year, but uh, I'm with uh, Lisa Druxman, who is the founder of Fit for Moms. Yeah. I'm assuming you're a mom. I am a mom. Okay, and I just found out talking to Judy down below, this is your 12th or 13th conference? Yeah, I think this is our 12th conference. We have uh, been around for 14 years. I mm -hmm. started it three months after my son was born. So what motivated you to start Fit for Moms? You know, I had um, an aha moment when becoming a mom. I knew that all moms wanted to get their bodies back and wanted to get back in shape. But more than anything, they needed a village. They needed support. There's so many questions about motherhood. So our first program was Stroller Strides, and that is a stroller-based workout where moms actually work out with their babies in a stroller. They get back in shape, they have fun with their baby, and they get this village, this community of moms. Right. And then as my kids grew, so did the programs. We added Fit for Baby, which is our prenatal program, and Body Back, which is our program for moms at any stage of motherhood. It's really a transformational program for them. And uh, we eventually turned the company into Fit for Mom and franchised the company. And uh, we are just all about giving women the strength for motherhood. Well, I, I like this because you know, I work mostly from my home office, and when I moved to San Diego, it was because of a bike ride I was on one day, and I was on the bike path out to Coronado, and at the same time, I mean, I just came from Utah, and it was 110 degrees in Ooh. Utah, and I was on this bike path, and I thought, what am I doing in Utah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, a month later, I was living uh, right beside the bike path, but what's great about it is, because so often we get busy, we get caught up in our lives and we're working and we're taking care of the kids and we're doing all these things. And we don't sometimes find the motivation to get out and do things. And one thing that's great about Fit for Moms and other programs like this, but particularly Fit for Moms, it's great because you get involved in something where you have your peers, you have other moms. Um, in my case, it was watching cyclists go by my window every day in groups, I'm thinking, why am I at my desk? I have yeah. to go for a bike ride. Mm -hmm. So it's very motivational. Yeah. So the women must must love it, having that peer support. They really do. And I mean, I have this just boundless belief in moms and the power of moms and realizing that they are the catalyst for change in their family. They are the ones that are going to have the impact on the next generation. So we need moms to learn how to take care of themselves. If we want moms, our kids to eat better than we do, if we want our kids to exercise more than we do, relax more than we do, they're only going to learn it from their parents. And specifically, I find that moms are tend to be kind of the leader of the family. So we're teaching moms how to take care of themselves. I'm not, I can't argue with that because you, being, being Canadian by background, the, the first thing you notice, and a hockey fan, these guys are always, when they're, they hit their moment and they're being interviewed, I got to thank my mom. Yeah. You know, five o'clock, well, and dads too, but moms are so supportive and they're the ones who get up at the four o'clock in the morning and get the kid in the car and pack their stuff up and, or, or after school or, I mean, all these different things that. But the funny thing is that around. moms tend to be martyrs. We're so busy taking care of everyone else that we yes. don't take care of ourselves. And a happy mom is the best gift you can possibly give to your family. So very much in all of our programs, we really teach moms how to take good care of themselves and not just through fitness, but through nutrition, through relaxation, um, and teach them how to kind of find that life balance and find themselves again. A lot of moms kind of lose their identity when they become a mom. So their identity might change a bit, but we help them like who they are and uh, just feel strong in motherhood. I watched something not that long ago, but I'm, and I'm trying to remember the source on YouTube, and it was so funny. Um, this is for the guys, by the way. Uh, and it was this, a young woman, and she it was, it did this skit on uh, um, the, the topic or the subject was about guys who want to have sex with their wives and their girlfriends kind of on demand. And so what she did was she had created this chart, and she showed, like she had the, 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 the moms all the different chores and the guys and all the different chores. <laughs> and she did this, and she, she marched, you know, gave two guys two points for everything they did. Oh my God. To relieve like, you know, if it was laundry. And then she would explain each, each thing too. She said like doing the laundry doesn't mean just cramming it all in the in the washing machine and saying, honey, I did the laundry. Yeah. It's separating the colors, it's doing the laundry, it's folding it, it's did putting it away. she make them work for sex? Yes. <laughs> so, but with this chart, she said, so if, so if you don't do this and, and your wife does this, no sex. <laughs> But if you do this and this and this, and you see, and she's doing this, and then you get up here, you know what? There might be a possibility of sex here, 
but if you do this, 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 and this, now this is the Zex zone right yeah. here. And it was, it was hilarious. I don't really know where to go with that. <laughs> yeah, well, I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> I still laugh every time I think about that. Skit, well, so. yes. Well, to take good care of your wife in any way, and she's going to be more responsive to you. I'll uh, give you that. <laughs> uh, ab absolutely. So with Fit for Mom, so you, you're in your, your what do you say, 13th year? Yeah, 14th, 14th year. 14th yeah. year. And uh, you're, you have it here. Um, how long, many times have you been here at the Dana Hotel now? We've been here at the Dana Hotel for eight years, and it's awesome because we have franchisees from all over the country who come and participate. So we have 250 franchisees. We have more than 2,000 class locations around the country. And um, right now we've got about 100,000 clients, but we set a goal at this conference that we need to reach a million moms um, because we just really do believe on the impact of these programs. and. Uh, how much healthier and happier they're gonna be. So what kind of information do they find on your website? So if they go to fitformom.com, they can find out how to find a class. They can connect with other moms. They can get resources on prenatal fitness, postnatal fitness. Um, it's interesting because people don't realize a woman's body will change more in nine months of pregnancy than yours will in your entire lifetime. And so that's a lot. And so to go back to your same old workout, it, it just doesn't work. So right. we really address the changes that happen in pregnancy and motherhood. Um, Hormones and, and... Everything, yes. And so biomechanics. <laughs> so there's a lot of great resources on our website. And certainly, if you're interested in starting a Fit for Mom class, then just go to Fit for Mom or go to Fit for Mom franchise and find out how you can either teach for us or start a franchise. So if there isn't something in their local area, there's nothing That's to stop That's usually what happen. happens. Yes. You know, a mom will be like, I want class in my neighborhood and there isn't one. Well. She starts it, so we can train you. So what, and it's just kind of a rhetorical question, I guess, it doesn't really require an answer, but what's the response been like? I mean, you've got 100,000 moms, but. Um, you know, I've been in the fitness industry for 25 years, mm -hmm. and the response has been unlike anything that I have ever seen before. This is not just fitness, this is not just sets and reps. This is life-changing stuff. This franchise, we've already had so many tears and just, I just I talked to one instructor who she's lost over a hundred pounds and she's a new person and it's not just about the weight loss it's this belief in herself so the response is pretty amazing um, mm. it has a huge huge impact and so that's why our goal is to reach so many moms because we believe in moms and we believe um, in their power I couldn't have wrapped that up any better myself <laughs> well Lisa I want to thank you for taking the time I know you're really busy that's and you've got right. to get back to the conference down below so um, thank you for this, and uh, you know, on Thanks behalf of here. all the moms out there, let's thank her for starting this organization. Thank you. So, Fit for Moms, fitformoms.com. Yeah, fitformom.com. Fitformom.com. Singular. Fit Singular, fitformom.com. All right, so uh, Lisa's looking forward to meeting you at the next conference. I'm John. We're going back to the studio. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you.